Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey Superstar Mode. It's been a while since I've played this game, it's actually been a while since I've recorded anything, uh, but I felt like playing more Odyssey, so let's get back into it. Um, I have in the interim actually updated Odyssey, this is version 1.3, you can tell it says playing in VR here. Uh, the mod seems to be compatible with both, so that should be fine. Uh, Basically, I decided to do that because you get better loading times of 1.3. Uh, there are some glitches that don't work anymore, but I don't know how to do them, and they are not required to play Superstar mode, so we should be fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, last time we did uh, the big sh the showdown on top of the pyramid. Uh, if I bring, bring up the list of moons, this one, showdown on the inverted pyramid, we did that. Uh, next up, I want to go and see how they handled the Nuclotech boss fight in the hole in the desert. So we're going to head over there and find out how it differs. Basically, um, so what we really want to do basically is get to a Jaxi. Uh, we can just warp ourselves to Trostorina Town like this. You can, on, in normal play, get the, get to the hole without a Jaxi, but I don't think that's going to happen because, as you may recall, sand hurts us. <laughs> Uh, demonstrating that. <laughs> so, uh, let's just get to the Jaxi, like so, and just make our way over there. Uh, yeah, the Jaxi is not harmed by the sand, as you can see. We can make our way across to the hole in the desert without any problems, really. Uh, this is not any harder than it normally would be. Although in normal play, you would often jump off your Jaxi a little bit earlier, which we can't do because we would get hurt. Okay, here we are in the Underground Temple. Let's see how this changed. Uh, not normally a Goomba who can run up to you at the entrance, so that's new. I'm going to do uh, my conventional thing for this area, which is trying to avoid touching the ice. I don't know if it's possible in this version. In the original game, it's very possible. But let's give it a shot. We get to here, so that's a start. Um, yeah, this mostly looks the same as it usually does. Uh, those steps are new, I think. Uh, and there's more bullet bills. Oh, and the, the shockwave thingies are already active. In the regular game, the shockwaves don't activate. There's only two of them, and they won't activate until you go over there. But in this one, there seem to be four of them, and they activate right away because of the bullets. So that's uh, a little bit more threatening, uh, but I think we can handle it. I think we'll be fine. I go over here. Looks like avoiding touching the ice, which is what I was going to do anyway, actually is quite helpful for this area, so... Uh, no, let's just let's just continue not to touch the ice. We we could touch it at this point, but if we don't, oh, okay. The uh, see that distant platform there? Can I camera right over there? Uh, zoom. Yeah. Uh, that platform normally has like a twirly flower thing to launch you up. It's gone now, so it is in fact impossible to get through here without touching the ice. Uh, because normally you would have to land directly on the flower to avoid touching the ice and the platform around it. But you can't do that now, because, uh, the flower's gone. These are much faster than they are in the base game. Much faster. Oh, hang on, there it is. It just spawned. Okay, I was supposed to be too far away. Okay. Uh, these Goombas aren't normally here. I don't think that's much of an extra threat, though. Oh, I think the idea is to make the Goomba Tower, you need to get some from over here. Plus the ones that are over there at the same time. So you have to bring more Goombas overall, which makes it a bit harder. Interesting. Uh, let's see, is this normal? This is more or less normal, but there's normally one of these shockwave thingies instead of two, so it's a little bit harder. Uh, take ourselves over here. Uh, this, there would normally be a twirly whirly thing here and it's gone, so uh, this is gonna be a little trickier than it otherwise would be. Said a little trickier. <laughs> okay. Um. There we go. 
Okay, so the reason you want to get up here is... Oh! Oh, okay. Normally there would be a chest on this side with a, with a treasure in it that you can get. But uh, the chest is over there now. Interesting. Okay, so let's just uh, get on here. Make our way over. Yeah, normally the treasure would be here. Uh, where are these coins, basically? Oh, hello. Where are these going? Huh. I figured it would, like, hit something at the end that we would capture or something. That did not happen. Okay, so yeah, that chest is probably the one with the moon in it, but it's all the way over there. Interesting. I'll try a Cappy Roll Jump, but I don't think we can make it that far. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> hmm. Okay, yeah, there is, a, there is a checkpoint hidden here. It's invisible, but there's a couple of invisible checkpoints in the game. That's one of them. Uh, so that brings us back to here again. Let me just have a think. I assume there isn't a ledge on that side we could use. Okay, so we want to get back over here. Oh, we need to get in the right spot before we start. Backflip, throw... Oh no. Okay, let's try using maybe... I did this fine the first time. What am I doing wrong now? <laughs> oh, jeez. There we go. There we go. Yeah, see that moon over there? That is the one you need to get using the Goomba Tower, and I think it's been arranged, like the Goombas have been placed a little differently, so that you need to bring all of them together across the whole area. Which is much harder, so that's neat. Uh, there's actually some there too, but I don't think it's possible to get those ones to, across the other Goombas. I think they're just there for decoration. <laughs> um, so that... Hmm. Okay, let's head back over there and have a bit of a look around. There are usually some uh, invisible blocks just here. I I'm guessing they've been removed because you never needed them in the first place. Uh, to help you get up there. Yeah, you don't, you don't need them, so they're gone. Hmm, let me see. We got this thing. That's new. I don't know if that helps us at all. I tried shaking the controller to see if Cappy would home into something that I can't see, something that's far away, but it doesn't look like it. Hmm. I could probably jump onto those little pillars, but they're too, like, they're too low for me to get back up and get to where the moon is. Hmm. I don't know how you get that moon. I, I am fascinated. Uh... You might need to... No idea. Absolutely no idea. Uh, let me see, we've got a Goomba Tower in the middle there. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. I am really enjoying how confusing uh, this version of the game is. It's very impressive. Um, we would, if we had a bullet that was a lot higher up, we could use that, but we don't. The bullet launcher is all the way over there, and way down there. Um, I'm thinking maybe you need to use a Goomba Tower to get the height, but then how do you get the distance to get over to where these are? Because the Goombas cannot travel very far, like, horizontally. Hmm. I'm confused. Uh, let's just head on to the next bit for the time being. Uh, I am going to come back and try to get every moon, uh, so no cause for alarm, but for the moment, we're going to go this way. And we're going to try to take on the boss. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, this part looks normal. Uh... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary here. Uh, this is where the binding band would be once we save it at the end of the game, but we haven't yet, so it's not there. Uh, let me see. That's normal. Oh, oh, that's different. Um, okay, so the arena now has a whole bunch of bullet bills. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? That's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, let's fight Knuckle Attack, but now with like... What, is that like six, eight, eight bullets? Eight, eight bullet launchers? Uh, uh, Bowser took it. No, 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 ba no ba Bowser took it. It w wasn't me. Oh my god. Because um, this game has a harder version of this fight, but uh, this is probably harder than that. <laughs> Honestly, the harder versions of the fights in the game are, are mostly pretty easy. One of, one of them is actually easier than the starting fight. Uh... If you've played the game, you probably know which one I mean. <laughs> it's Mollus Clunks, though. That one is, that one is easier uh, when you fight him in the post-game than when you fight them normally. <sighs> okay. okay, so this is more or less normal, except there's a bunch of bullets chasing me. <laughs> uh, it looks like uh, the falling icicles do not hurt the bullets. Uh, which is disappointing, because that would be helpful. Uh, but the fists crashing down can hurt the bullets, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, all of all bullet builds in this game are homing, so... <laughs> they, uh... Are after me for the entire fight. I mean, this is harder, but I'm still not really taking damage, because I'm good at the game. <laughs> I imagine, yeah, if you weren't as experienced as I am, you may have some trouble with this. It only takes three hits. I would have changed it so I'd take a few more hits, but that probably wouldn't have made it harder, honestly. Alright, well, that's our first multi-moon. No, it's not. That's like a- that's our second multi-moon, actually. Third? I- actually, I forget. It's our third multi-moon. <laughs> I forgot if Showdown and Inverted Pyramid was a multi-moon or not. <laughs> okay, uh, so with that, we do not have enough moons to leave yet, uh, but we're gonna have a bit of a look around and see what we can do. It will be daytime again, and the ice will have melted, so we can visit some of the sub-areas and stuff that we couldn't before. I see a slingshot off the side there. That's normally not there, so... I'm really curious to see what's happening. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough moons yet. We still need two more, and then we'll be able to leave. So yeah, what's with that slingshot? <laughs> that is not normally in the game. That has been added. So let's go find out what it is. Uh... Please stop making me look at the Odyssey. I'm trying to do something here. Okay, that, uh... Okay, it gets you directly here. Uh, you may as well just warp, but I, I think... Th oh, oh, I see why it's there. The reason it's there is because if you didn't hit this flag before thawing out the town, it becomes impossible to get over here without taking damage because all the ice is melted. And you're supposed to be able to complete the game without taking damage. Uh, I say as I take damage. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that's exactly the reason. Uh, because otherwise the game would just... It, it would not be possible for do a damageless run if you just mess something up. Uh, you would just get stuck. Uh, okay, the power line to the pyramid is actually gone. I think you're lying. No, um, normally when you complete the previous bit, there would be a power line here that goes across to there. Uh, but now there's not. <laughs> it also stops you from getting that moon we can see there. Uh, you may remember from, I think, maybe two videos ago, maybe one. Uh, don't miss your chance. Uh, that moon, you can only get it before the ice melts. It's a minor moon, so it's not a huge deal if you miss it, but... Uh, yeah, it in the, in the base game, it's really easy to get at any time. In this game, I believe you can only get it before the ice melts. Ah, I see you made this a bit harder. <laughs> Uh, first let me just do a little check here. Okay, no, you can still do that. And just basically skip the whole thing. Um... Yeah, this is supposed to be a capitalist area, which is why there's a scarecrow at the beginning, but... Nintendo didn't really plan on Mario having quite as much momentum in this game as he does. So... You can just bring Cappy with you. It's fine. 
I have a sneaking suspicion we're actually supposed to bring a Goomba in order to get one of the moons in here, because I keep seeing Goombas, and the normal version of this area does not have Goombas. There would normally be a moon here that's been moved. Oh no. Yeah, you need a Goomba Tower to reach that moon. And I think it may be the only one here. There would normally be two moons in this area, not just the one, but I'm only seeing one. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. I wonder what I wonder if there are actually two moons in here or if the other one's been moved somewhere else. Hmm. Maybe you do need the Scarecrow. Oh, maybe the other moon only shows up if you have the Scarecrow. Like, in order to force you to do this, like, capless and to do this as a Goomba. Because you can't capture the Goombas if you don't have Cappy. So may maybe you're required to do this, like, without Cappy and as a Goomba with Cappy. That would be very interesting if that's what we're going for here. Oh no. Please leave me alone. I have no idea what the right timing for that is. I'm just gonna see if the Scarecrow makes the other moon show up. Oh no. It's ticking. Oh no, that means it's a timer challenge. Oh no. Yeah, normally you have infinite time for this one. Even though it's a scarecrow, like the timer challenges elsewhere in the game, it's not a timer challenge normally. Oh no! I didn't make it! Oh no. Oh wow, they have made this very hard. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, the two challenges here, you have to get a Goomba Tower to that spot. Which basically means bringing Goombas all the way through these very, very fast uh, rotating blocks here. You also have to put Cappy on the Scarecrow. And as just Mario, you have to get all the way over, I assume to that platform there, the one that's a bit raised. Let's go into camera mode and that one. Very hard to aim when you're zoomed in this much, that one. I assume that's where the other moon spawns. It's a bit too far away to see, but I assume that's where it shows up. I don't think I'm quite up for this. <laughs> I might come back later, but, uh, hmm. Do I want to get over there if you missed it? Oh yeah, you can use the Jaxi, right? Yeah. I think the Jaxi unlocks for free in this version, because everything else is already hard enough without needing to pay the Jaxi, I guess. And they didn't want you to get stuck unable to move without taking damage. Which I already mentioned, I think. Can I buy a power moon? Is that still in the game, or was it moved somewhere else? Hello. Apparently I can buy a moon. I think I will. Uh, at least for now. I might come back later, but... That's kind of an easy way to get a moon, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, I can see that, that seed is right there. Can I? Yeah, I can. I can knock it around with Cappy to get it onto a platform where I can pick it up without taking damage. Oh, or I can do that. That works too. <laughs> I do know about amiibo, but I don't tend to use them. I'm guessing this one's been moved. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Normally, uh, you could put Cappy here to get a moon, but or, like have her spit on top of this thing, but that's not happening, so... Clearly that's been changed. Uh, let me see... There'd also, also normally be a moon up here, which has, I think, been removed. Or we'll placed somewhere else, at least. I don't know if it's gone permanently. 
Uh, let's do a little bit of a warp. Uh, if I go over to Northwest Reaches here, we should be able to get on top of the pyramid and we can have a look around up there. Unless that wire is gone, which it could be. Uh, that didn't work. Oh god! <laughs> okay, no, the wire is still there. I just need a way to get up to it. Normally you would just jump from this hill here, but, uh... That's not really an option. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's do it with the Jaxi. Okay, let's check out this timer challenge. Uh, this looks more or less, more or less normal. Oh! Oh, you have, like, no time at all. I see. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you have no time to spare whatsoever. Oh, no. Okay, let's try and get close to start with. Put Cappy on there. Oh, no, I can't. I'll have to do it later because I want to get every moon, but... Oh my god, this game is hard. <laughs> okay, let's head up to the pyramid now. Okay, so normally there would be... Yes, this thing. You're just supposed to ground pound this thing. Uh, you can sign it with Rathor and Cappy at it, and then you can ground pound it and you get a moon. I don't know if that's been changed. I think maybe the stun time is a lot shorter than it normally is. Yeah, it doesn't stay stunned for like any time. Hmm. I think there'd normally be a moon in that one. Maybe it's one of the other ones. One of the one of these like uh Jaxi statues is like glowing, and that one has a moon. But none of them seem to be glowing. However, there is one of these. I'm going to take the Jaxi over here. You, you do in the normal game. I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh my god. Bam. Uh, I want to see if this has been changed. Uh... The Secret Path to Metro, normally you just get a moon for free for finding these, basically. Will it be something else? Okay, it looks like a free moon. Is it still a free moon? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, it, it is. It won't help us until we actually get to Metro. It counts as a Metro Kingdom moon, uh, so we can't use it until we actually get here, but it's still a moon that will help us out when we get here, so... Oh, good. <laughs> Are we going to take damage when we come out of the painting? Hope not. Oh, no, we did! <laughs> Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, so that one wasn't changed. That's the normal bird traveling the wastes moon. Uh, and that's pretty much the normal way to get it as well. You can get it as Mario without a Jaxi, but it's it's harder. Wait, what's that? Ow. Wait. Am I supposed to walk on the sand? Uh, I'm gonna take damage if I do that, right? Yes! Oh no! No thank you! <laughs> I 
I assume there's a trick I'm, I'm not seeing here that you're supposed to use to avoid taking damage. I guess if I do the whole thing on a Jaxi, maybe? But uh, that sounds uh, very, very much. Sounds like a lot. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, is the Lakitu fishing here? Oh no! Oh no, there's sand under the water! Oh no! <laughs> oh! Oh dear! Okay, I'm gonna need to warp somewhere so it doesn't keep happening. So yeah, I believe the secret path, you would need to go there after you've already been, uh, been to, uh, Metro so you can actually warp somewhere else and avoid coming out of the painting. Uh, if you want to avoid taking damage, that is. Uh, I have been taking a lot of damage, though, of course, of this run. I have not been too concerned about that. Do I need to carry this, like, across here or something? I don't know where the, where the pot this needs to go into actually is. Uh, having a think here. I need one more moon from somewhere. Are the Sphinx questions changed? Can I talk to the Sphinx? I I'm sure I can talk to the Sphinx, but are the questions changed? Are they much harder? The locals of Toss Train specialize in one of these industries, which is it? Uh, carpets? Okay, so the questions have changed. I want to see what the others are rather than getting that moon. Hang on. Hello. A bird which soars across the desert. What species might it be? Oh, I like that. Uh, a hawk? The guardian of this land likes to show off his fashion sense, but which of these are not worn? Uh, I think a lip ring? Yeah. Very few trees grow, but how many exactly? I think it's seven? I'm just thinking about the oasis, which is where most of the trees are, but is that where all, all of the trees are? Oh, it's ten. It's not that hard, because you can just keep trying like this, but... Ugh, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I, these questions are much harder than the ones in the base game, so that's nice. Final question. What is your name? Oh, my name's Mayro. Oh, I like that shout out. That's pretty cute. Mario. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that they've updated the quiz to have more difficult questions. Uh, I'm going to do a walk back to the Odyssey. And then I'm going to cash in the moons and we're going to head to the next kingdom. And we're going to call that a video. Uh, there's a lot more to do in Sand Kingdom, obviously. Uh... Have a look at the stuff I've got, like, there's all these missing moons, but we're gonna go and go, go for another pass once we've cleared the story. We, we're gonna do things, like, in sort of the intended order a little bit. Cascade Kingdom, we got the right amount of moons. Fan Kingdom, yeah, we, we've got the amount of moons the game expects you to have, basically. So we're, we're going for a 124 moons run first, and then we're gonna fill in the gaps. Uh, just because that's how I roll. Uh, I'm curious to see Lake Kingdom. They couldn't just make water hurt you because there are not enough moons above the water, unless they've just been moved around, I guess. Which is possible. Actually, I think I have more moons than I need from... I think maybe, maybe I got an extra moon from Cascade. We may be past 124 already. Oh, uh, yeah, Lake Kingdom. I just, I just always go Lake first. I just, I just like that order. Okay. 
yeah, yeah, it's possible the water does hurt you and you just need to not touch it, but all the moons are now not in the water. Doesn't seem likely though. I guess we'll see. Uh, yeah, I know how to roll. I'm, I'm playing superstar mode, I, I, I know how to roll. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, here we are, Lake Lamode. mode. Uh, well, I can see a moon up there. That's new. Brutal. Oh, is it, is it cold? Looks like it's snowing. Is there all the water, like, ice water that hurts you? Uh, but after a few seconds, so it's safe to touch for a little bit? Whoa. This looks really different. Okay, this sand is not hurting me, which is good. Hello. Yeah, I think I think the lake kingdom is now an icy lake kingdom. Yeah, the water's cold. I thought so. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's not get in the water. Let's finish the video right now, and next time we will take on the lake kingdom. And I think I did get too many moons actually. Let me have a quick look. Cascade three. Four, five, six. Yeah, that, 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 that is, that is, you only need five to exit and I got six. So yeah, that, that is too many moons in Cascade. Uh, that's okay. Uh, 125 moon run is still fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I hope, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time we check out the Frozen Lake Kingdom, I guess. I wonder if this has been updated to say it's a Frozen Lake. Uh, no. No, this stuff's all the same. Like, you can see the temperature hasn't changed. Even though it's cold now. <laughs> That's still cool. Bye! <laughs>